What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I uh, know it's been a little while since I posted one. Uh, summer's been a bit busy, but things are hopefully starting to calm down now, so I'm gonna try and get back into posting videos here. I recently fell down the rabbit hole into the world that is Critical Role, uh, which is basically a whole bunch of voice actors who are playing one very long game of um, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, this particular character's name is Jester. Uh, she's played by the voice actress uh, Laura Bailey, and she's this wonderful ball of chaos who is just so entertaining to watch and uh, listen to as they go on their journey. I think something that this piece really helped teach me and solidify for me is uh, the concept of knowing when to kill your darlings. You can start out with a concept and there might be all of it or part of it that's really not working and it's important to be able to separate uh, emotionally from the piece and from this thing that you've made and created and realize when something isn't working and be able to get rid of it and set it aside, maybe save it for later and replace it with something that is going to be able to work for that particular painting. When it comes to this piece, I had started with a certain concept in mind and a certain scene from the campaign that I had uh, wanted to portray, and the color scheme just wasn't working. The, the painting of Jester herself had a really warm color palette, and then the scene that was going to be overlaid on her cloak was an underwater scene, so it had all these cool blues and green tones in it, and it just wasn't working with what I had already painted. So I set it aside and as I was listening back to another scene that I wanted to paint, uh, it clicked that it would work perfectly with uh, what I already had in this painting. So I started sketching it in. this scene because it is just beautifully described and um, it's a scene that's a little different than what I think most people would expect when they think of Dungeons and Dragons. It's not really focused on combat or adventure or anything like that. It's this very quiet, introspective scene that um, I'm not really going to describe anymore because I thought that I would let the cast of Critical Role do it for me. I uh, took some of the audio and um, just trimmed it up a little bit so that it would fit on this video and um, I thought that I would let you guys listen to the scene itself as I kind of paint it. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Through your path uh, during the evening, you keep an eye on the waves. Uh, at some point, the moon itself is starting to find itself low in the sky. You look over and you see this like faint glow in the water below. It's a jellyfish bloom. You see hundreds and hundreds of these tiny jellyfish below the surface that are giving this faint kind of bioluminescent blues and pinks and a variety of colors in that kind of pastel spectrum as they just kind of pass under the waves as you move by. And then you look out beyond that and you can see a few more. You just kind of look over the water and pass by these beautiful little beacons of color in the middle of this dark black ocean. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. 
last thing you want to do is jump in there though. That is a bad time. Yeah, jellyfish sting and it's quite painful. Sometimes things that are the most beautiful are the things that can hurt you the worst. Are you worried about where we're going? No. I feel like we take care of ourselves pretty well. Yeah. I promise I'll heal you if you start to hurt, okay? Thank you. Do you ever get sad? Sad? Yeah, that sometimes things don't work out the way you were hoping. Yeah, I suppose I get sad. I'm sometimes sad about the things that I've had before that I won't have anymore. And I sometimes wish that things were different. What makes you sad? I miss my mom already. <laughs> I thought we could see her longer. What would you want for her? I don't know. I would like for her to be happy. Yeah. Don't be sad. Your mom is very proud of you. That much was clear. Thanks for that. I'll mention it.